So in this video, I wanted to do a quick introduction to this alarm clock. It's called the Mirari Okay to Wake Alarm Clock and Nightlight. This is a really popular device that was recommended to me and I've recommended to other people. Some people call it the green light or the little green light or just the uh, alarm clock, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But what it is, it's an alarm clock for children that has a light built in. You can see the light is yellow now. That's the nightlight. It also has a green light. And that is the green, like as in green means go type thing. So say your children are waking up too early and you don't want them to get out of bed before 7.30 a.m. This You could set this to turn green at 7.30 a.m. If they need a conventional alarm clock, which is something that wakes them up, say at 7.15, beep, 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 it'll do that. But if you have the reverse problem of children waking up too early, as opposed to getting up too late, then a silent light turns on. It turns on silently, I guess. And at 7.30 a.m., this turns green. And then if they wake up and see it's green, great. Then they know it's they can get out of their room. So how does that work? Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to set the time and just uh, set the current time. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, that's the set button here. Hold it two seconds, set the current time. So hold it two seconds. Do you want to use 24 hour time or tw uh, 12 hour time? So we'll use 12 hour time here in the US. Hit it once. Now we set the time using these buttons here. That's uh, hour up, hour down, minute up, minute down. So let's say it's 2 p.m. So set that to 2 p.m. and we will zero this out actually there you go 2 p.m and we will hit the set button one more time nothing's beeping 2 p.m nothing's blinking we're good to go okay so now you have your alarm and then your timer or so your light timer rather so we're going to use the wake button to set our light timer that's the feature i recommend so you're going to hold that one for two seconds Now it says, what time do we want this to turn green? So what is the earliest possible time you would want the children to leave their room? Before I said 7.30 a.m., so let's stick with that. So we'll go up an hour and now up to 7.30. We'll hit the wake button again. We'll lock that in. Now you can see it's 2, 1 p.m. The light feature is activated and OK to wake feature is activated. We'll tap the wake button once and we'll see what happens. Basically now we're disabling or enabling the green alarm clock. You could see the instructions here are very terse and somewhat confusing, but if you kind of understand the device, you could uh, you could start to figure it out. So wake, hold, set light timer, tap timer on and off. So basically, uh, we have the light ready to go at this point. And what we could do actually is we could just set this to let's call it uh, two o three p.m. and we'll test this out. As long as we can get there quickly enough. While that is here, we'll look for the alarm. And you can see that the instructions here are they're fairly robust given that it's a relatively simple feature. It's it's like this is the most confusing alarm clock I've ever used by quite a wide margin. But basically the important thing is differentiate between differentiating between the okay to wake timer and the uh, the the loud blinking timer, uh, the loud beeping timer. So basically if you want your children to sleep in and you set this thing to beep, uh, you're gonna be a pretty unhappy camper, which it'll have possibly woken them up when you uh, actually you know wanted them sleeping. So you want to be careful about that. Okay, so turn 2 or 3 p.m. 
the green light turned on. So basically what that means is if your children were sleeping, they didn't wake up. If they were awake, the green light turned on, it's time to come outside of their room and see what's going on. If you hit that, the green light is off, and then uh, it's kind of like it'll just repeat the next day. It doesn't have a weekend setting or anything like that just because, you know, that's not really the sort of device it is. It's not that sophisticated. You know, it's not an iPhone alarm clock. But basically what's happening now, this is the right way to use the green light, at least for, for us. Like, turn the green light on. You're good to go. It doesn't have to beep. If you want the beeping timer, you have your other feature. That's your, you would hold this one right here. That's your review. That is set alarm time. We'll, we'll tap this one. And ours, ours is off. And, but you'll see what happens if it's on, this little bell will be there. That is indicating that an audio alarm is going to go off. If you ever want to keep your, uh, wake, <laughs> your okay to wake green light on, uh, bas basically to keep it set, but disable it for a day or two, you just tap the button. And now you, now that feature is off. Uh, it's really easy to turn it on and off. And if you don't want to learn all the ins and outs of this, I would say set it up just like this. Obviously set it to the correct time, not 2 or 3 p.m. Close this thing, put some tape over here, and just put it on a shelf and say, hey, this is not something we touch. And that way you'll have the green light going, no audio alarm, and then uh, basically it's ready to go. And you won't have to touch this thing for a year or two because the batteries here last a long time. You'll lose, you know, the ability to use it as a nightlight. Uh, some people like that. Some of the children like that, rather. And you can set a timer on the nightlight, basically, like, so the children, as they're falling asleep, they can turn the nightlight on, and it'll stay on for 15 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever you set it to. Uh, right now, it only works I just, just for a minute. But if you want to stay on for 30 minutes, it'll do that. That's a nice feature. That's easy to do using the... Uh, using the... Uh, nightlight timer and there's you know nap features and stuff like that but really what we did here was set it up set the right time set the green light and then put your tape over it and it's good to go and that's the easiest way to use the okay to wake up alarm clock thanks for watching